everyone. My name is Dr. Shanley Davis. I am a pediatric endocrinologist and clinical researcher at the Extraordinary Kids Clinic at Children's Hospital Colorado and the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Campus. I'm very excited to introduce you all to the Galaxy Registry. The Galaxy Registry is a clinical uh, study for all individuals with any X and Y chromosome variation. As you probably know by now, Klinefelter syndrome, or XXY, is uh, on a spectrum. And what we mean by that is that some people are affected a great deal, while others are affected very minimally. What they're affected with can also vary between individuals. We want to get a large group of individuals with different X and Y variations, along with their clinical information, so that we can appropriately understand some of the risk factors and some of the natural history for those conditions in these individuals. The Galaxy Registry is taking medical records from individuals with X and Y chromosome variations and learning more about the conditions that these individuals are affected by from a medical perspective as well as from um, a mental health perspective. We are also tracking the medications that they have taken um, and that they're currently on as well as things like their height and weight and vital signs over time. Um, and as well as some what we call patient-centered outcomes or surveys that patients and or their parents can complete so we learn more about quality of life and things that are important on a day-to-day -day basis. The final part of the Galaxy Registry is a biobank. So for those individuals that are at one of our participating sites, we have the option to collect um, blood samples to be able to be used for research for future research projects that um, may want to learn more about X and Y conditions as well. Importantly, Galaxy is guided by a steering committee of specialists as well as individuals with X and Y variations and their family members to be able to direct the information that we are collecting as part of this study as well as what the data is going to be used for. So um, before any data are used or before the bio, uh, bio specimens are used for any research, the um, researcher would have to submit a proposal and the steering committee would have to approve that proposal um, for its use. What we hope to gain is a sustainable infrastructure that will be able to support future research studies and that we can continue to get information out of. Rather than a lot of studies that are just a one and done um, involvement, this is going to be hopefully lasting so that we can follow, follow individuals over time and over their life. So anyone with an X and Y chromosome variation can participate in the Galaxy Registry, and we really need everyone's participation in order to make this study as meaningful as um, we want it to be and we hope it is. We want to be able to have individuals from all different slices of that spectrum that I mentioned, those that are minimally affected or not at all affected, to those that have significant um, complications or, or what we call comorbidities. We want um, everyone to participate so that we're able to appropriately um, understand these conditions and the variability in these conditions. In order to participate in the Galaxy Registry, it's as simple as going to the website and um, reading through the consent form and asking any questions of, uh, that you might have of the study team. A lot of information about the details of how your data is going to be stored and secured, um, who has access to your data, all of those sorts of things are listed in the consent form, but we're happy as the research team to talk to you about more details as well. If you sign the consent form, um, that allows us to use your research, sorry, use your, your medical uh, records for research purposes. So you're also signing for us to be able to get those medical records from wherever you've had medical care, and you tell us that information as well. And then finally, you provide us with your karyotypes so we can confirm that indeed there is an X and Y chromosome variation that we're studying. Participating in the Galaxy Registry stays completely confidential. There's no exposure that we have from our study team. None of your personal information is um, connected with the data or attached to the data or leaves our data secure database. So if you are not open about your diagnosis of an X and Y chromosome variation or you're not open about your child's um, condition, it's completely still safe to be in the registry from a confidential perspective.
There's not necessarily direct benefit to you to participate in the registry. The um, benefit is to the X and Y population as a whole to learn more about individuals that have these conditions and how we can better help them um, receive the best care uh, that they can.